Hey guys, what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a lip swatch and a review of the Peri Pera Ink Velvet and the Ink Airy Velvet as well. So overall, I have five shades from the Ink Velvet and two shades from the Ink Airy Velvet. So all the details are mentioned in the description box below. You can check it out. And for foundation shade reference, I'm NC40 in MAC and in Maybelline, I'm 310 Sun Beige. So if you have not already, then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it's notified whenever I upload and now let's jump right in the video. let's quickly go over with the pricing because it kind of varies now out of the seven shades two of them are from the normal ink velvet these are priced at 690 rupees and then there is three of them from the ink velvet which is from the nude collection which is priced at 800 rupees and lastly there are two shades from the ink airy velvet which is the peach collection and that again is priced at 800 rupees now each of these are four grams of product and i picked mine off of macaroon so this this is how the packaging looks like which is very simple cute and aesthetic at the same time you have the shade number in the front itself and this is how the applicator looks like and now let's finally move on to the swatches
All right, so let's go over with the formula, the pros and the cons. Now, firstly, these are really soft and smooth on the lips. Like I have the habit of pressing my lips together and it is so soft and smooth each and every time I do that. So that is great. Now, the ink velvet ones, they were quite thick and moussey in consistency as soon as you apply them. Wherein on the other hand, the airy velvet, those, they were quite thin and liquidy in consistency. At the same time, they were quite packed in pigment and they were smooth as well. Well, what I really like about these is that it kind of makes your lips look blurred and soft like even like in person in front of the mirror my lips actually do look blurred out and soft wherein I do have quite a lot of texture and fine lines on my lips but then they look so smooth and nice. So I really like that. I do love the packaging. It is very simple at the same time. It is very cute as well. And I think these are one of the most popular. When you look at the packaging, you know it's peri -pera, you know? So it is quite popular as well. So yeah, that is that about the packaging. And about the transfer resistant. Now these are not transfer proof or anything of that sort. It's not mentioned that it is transfer proof. Like for example, it does transfer quite a lot but then there is still a lot of pigment that is left on the lips and it doesn't look that bad coming to longevity of these it is kind of subjective because the darker the shade the more longer it will last wherein the lighter the shade it may not last that long compared to the darker shade and after having a heavy meal this is how it looks like and as you guys can see the tint is left over and a little bit of the lipstick is also there and when i do press my lips together i do get like kind of a sheer coverage of the original color for the removal of these you will have to use an oil based product but even after that there will still be some tint left over especially if it's a darker shade which i personally don't mind at all and now for the fii there's just one point that these do have a strong fragrance and it does linger for some time and then it disappears on a side note if anyone knows a perfume that kind of smells similar to this please let me know in the comments down below i will really appreciate it so yeah, I really like the smell. Now for the cons, there are two points. The first point is that there are no proper swatches available online. Now for me to place this particular order, it took the longest time. The reason is because I was scrolling and scrolling and scrolling just to find like a proper swatch, like a reference for me to pick and choose because what they have online is like a very heavily filtered and very heavily photoshopped kind of a picture. I will insert the image right here you will know what I'm talking about. So it took a very long time for me to actually find a proper swatch. So yeah. The second con is something like if I'm being super nitpicky about it is when this will be a con and that is to do with the reds. Like I found a lot of reds and many of them looked identical. That is the main reason why I ensured that what I'm ordering in this particular video that I've swatched do not have any red shades because there were so many of them and a lot of them actually looked very identical. So yeah, that is another thing which is not like a big deal but just there. Now the reason I'm saying both these points is because if you are planning to buy it, make sure you do a lot of research and then buy them because these are not cheap by any means. These are quite pricey and pick and choose a color which you will actually like and wear it as well. Now a prime example is the shade number 23. Now online it looked so beautiful and even when I swatch it, it actually looks really nice. But then on my lips and on my medium skin tone, it looked completely different. So yeah, just make sure that you actually choose wisely. Oh, another thing that I forgot to mention is that if you're planning to buy it, make sure that the price is low because on Macron, majority of the time there's like a sale going on. So yeah, do not pay full price. Just buy it when the price is cheaper. So yeah, these were my thoughts on the Peripera Ink Velvet and this finally wraps today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did, then do not forget to subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so notified whenever I upload as well as like the video and comment down below. If you have any questions or requests, I will try and visit for you as well as follow me on my socials with Shanair on Instagram and Shanair on Twitter as well. So until next time, take care. Bye.